I have my paper before me. I came in by two inches from the edge of the paper and I rolled the line. Two inches in what? Two inches, two inches in what? Okay. And here I did the same. I measured two inches in what and ruled the line. So I have my guideline as you can see. Now here, this line is going to be my waistline. And from this waistline, I measured my pant length, which is 39 plus 1 as hemming allowance okay to have 40 inches so now like i said this is my waist line and i'm going to insert my waist circumference divided by four plus one inch as that allowance and this is going to be my back pattern so i'm working on my back pattern first now with the help of my set square i will position it this way to have a straight line upward from the waistline okay so from on this line I am going to measure three quarter of an inch from the waistline upward and mark And from this point, I will connect to this point. This is going to be my new waist line. Okay. Now from this line, the this first guideline here, I will measure down my crouch depth measurement, which is 11 and a half. Then I will connect those points with a straight line. Okay, so now from the same guideline, I will measure down my hip depth. Okay, and on this line, I am going to insert my hip measurements okay so on this line i mean okay i am going to insert my hip depth my hip round measurement divided by four plus half an inch okay now i have two points which i'm going to connect with the help of my straight ruler and extend to the crouch line <clears throat> okay now this is my center back line now on the crouch line i'm going to extend it i will extend the crouch line as you have seen okay now from my center back outward on this same line I am going to insert my hip round measurement divided by 8. So for example, if your hip round measurement is 32, divided by 8 will give you 4. Okay, so now you will insert the 4 and mark. We are going to divide these four inches into three okay you are going to divide the four inches into three and whatever value you get you will minus it just the way i am doing right now mine is 6.25 and divided by three is two and i decided to remove two inches from that okay so the the, the remaining is going to be my crouch back crouch extension. I hope you understand. Okay. So I'm from that point to the side. I'm going to transfer that measurement to the hemline.
okay you can see what i have so now on the headline i'm going to get the midpoint i'm going to get the midpoint to you know to have my crease line okay so here the measurement is about 18 and a half and divided by 2 is 9.25 so i'm measuring 9.25 from the side guideline inward so or you can place the tip from one point to another and fold it over to get the midpoint so now i'm going to connect the point to have my crease line or you can call it a grain line all right you can see what i have okay so here i am going to insert my new depth me measurement new depth or new length from the waistline the original waistline downward and not from the new waistline okay so i'm inserting my new length measurement because i need to also have my new line all right so right now i am going to insert my ankle measurement divided by four and i am uh, because this is a back pattern so to this measurement i will be adding quarter of an inch okay so this ankle this round measurement divided by four you're going to insert it on both sides of the crease line and add 0 0.25 inch to each of those measurements okay and that's what i'm doing right now so from that point i'm connecting to the new line So on the crotch line now, I'm going to come out by quarter of an inch and mark as shown. And I'm going to connect from the waist line, I'll connect to the hip line. okay so you may not really be able to see because of the pencil i am using here and um, from the new line i will connect to the quarter of an inch that i marked on the crotch the outside of the crotch um, area okay so i'll connect with my curve this way and then the um my side line from the waist down i will just link it up to the crouch area as shown this is just to enable me draw my side line properly so if there's a way you can do that to have a very lovely um curve line around there smooth enough okay then you can do it okay so this is what i have i can blend and blend until i get a smooth curve around there so i am just trying my best to ensure i have a well blended line around my knee around my crouch area 
okay so here i will come down from the crotch line by 0 0.25 that's quarter of an inch and the mark so and i am going to just draw some broken lines straight inward like that okay then i will measure like one inch or one and a half inches inward and connect to the hip line with a curve so can you see my crouch curve okay so this is what i have and right now i'm going to connect my new line to that 0 0.25 inch mark as shown all right you can see what i have right now so here i'm going to insert my darts and this is just by I'm folding my tape this way to get the midpoint of my new waistline so you know that the new waistline is you know a bit slanted so you have to ensure that your darts also follow suit and that's why I'm using this set square so that I can have a well slanted dart line okay so and to get my dart length you will measure your hip depth measurement divided by two and because this is a back pattern you are going to add three quarter of an inch to that now if you are adding a dart to your front it's just going to be your hip depth measurement divided by two that's all And because my dart allowance is one inch, I'm going to take just half of an inch on both sides of the dart line, the middle dart line. Okay, so right now this is what I have. Now I'm going to be doing some adjustment on the back pattern later on. So I am done with the back and here i have my um, paper to draft the front pattern so i have indicated all the necessary lines the waistline the hip line the crouch the kneel and the hem line okay now on this line which is my hip line i'm going to just insert my hip round measurement divided by four minus half of an inch okay now the half of an inch that i added to the back pattern was taken from the front okay so and you are going to insert the same measurement on the on the crouch line and on the waistline to have a straight line that i'm about to draw right now so these three lines have my hip round divided by four minus half of an inch okay so right now from this center front this is my center front line i'm going to come in by 0 0.25 as shown and connect this point to the hip line okay now to have my crouch extension you remember that the one third of the, the value i have here i reduced it and this measurement i'm going to add half of an inch to it and this is going to serve as my crouch extension on the front pattern you remember that mine was two inches the value I, I, re, I, I removed from the back and I added just half of an inch to that this will give me two and a half and that's why I have this so right now I'm going to connect as shown to the hip line with a slight curve you can see that my curve is not that deep okay the back cu crouch curve can be deep but the front crouch curve should not be deep okay so you can see this is what i have now on this back 
uh, the, the waistline i'm not going to add any dart to it okay and that's that's the reason why i took quarter of an inch away from the center front because i don't want it that okay so from the the value on the crouch line i'm going to measure everything and transfer to the hem line and transfer to the new line to have a straight line okay as shown all right this is what i have now i'm going to get the midpoint just the same way i did on the on the back this is the midpoint and i'm going to transfer this measurement to the new i'll transfer this measurement to the hem to have my front my front crease line or green line all right here i'm going to do the same i want to extend the crease line towards the um, waist line all right can you see what i have this is my crease line now if you're adding a dart you can add your dart to the crease line on the waist area okay now concerning the measurement my round ankle measurement you know stroke my round new measurement divided by four i'm going to reduce this measurement by 0.25 you remember that on the back pattern i added 0.25 to each of those measurements but on the front i'm going to reduce it by the same amount so the idea is you borrow some measurement from the front and add it to the back by the time you add everything together we will still give you the same measurement that you have okay can you see so i am connecting all those points together now here i am trying to add a facing and this facing is going to carry a two inch width elastic okay so now i'm adding two and a half inches two inches for for the width of my elastic and half inch for the same allowance i'm going to just tuck it in by the time i am sewing on the sewing machine okay and before you can have an elastic on your waist area you need to use the hip measurement okay so now on this um, front pattern the the measurement that i use for the front pattern on the hip line i'm going to extend the measurement to the waistline okay i'm going to extend the measurement to the waist i hope you are getting what i'm saying so here i used 12 inches as my hip round measurement divided by four minus half inch so i'm going to just do the same inside the same measurement on the waistline so the waistline and the hip line will carry the same measurement and you are going to add it to the side of the front okay but when you get to the back and you are trying to add that measurement it's going to be a little bit different So I'm trimming out right now. Okay. This is what I have. You can see that there's a little um, difference there. So because you are going to tuck in the waist facing before you cut out. Now the adjustments on the back. This is my hip line. I'm going to eliminate this that because the waist is going to carry an elastic so i do not need a waist that okay and i'm going to eliminate it and you remember that my allowance is one inch 
so i'll divide that into two that will be half i'll remove half from the side i'll remove half from the center back as shown and i will cut now i need to do another adjustment on the hip area usually the back side is more than the front so i will recommend two inches adjustment allowance on the hip area so if you are a plus size like me you can add between two inches and two and a half now for a small person or a medium person you can add 1.5 inches so you can see what i did i slashed my hip line to the side though i did not slash through and i added another paper underneath and i raised it up so the upper part is the one you're going to raise up and not the down part the down part is going to be stable on the table while you secure the tape and you raise the upper parts okay with the allowance that you want to add and by raising of course you are going to lose some part on the center back so you can just add it back to the side as shown All right, this is what I have. And don't forget, I am going to add the um, elastic width allowance to the upper part of the back. Now here, all round, I added quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay, to the front pattern and to the back. So here is 13 inches. Now 13 minus 9.5 here, that's 3.5. So 3.5 divided by 2, I will add one part here. I will add one part here. Now here you can see I have um, cut it out. Okay, can you see? So and I've also ironed the crease line. This is very important. You iron the crease line very well. 
both the front and the back okay